Today in our 2016 Kia Sedona, we're going to take a look at and show you how to install the Kurt Custom Fit Class 3 trailer hitch receiver. This is part number C13115. Now here's what the hitch is going to look like installed. As you can see, it tucks up pretty nicely underneath the bumper there. It's going to be visible all the way across. Um, this one's going to have kind of a flush collar on the end of it. really cleans up the look on the end here, gives it a nice appearance. This is a Class 3, so we've got a 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening. Now these work out really good for your bike racks, hitch cargo carriers, even 4 or 5 bike racks, big hitch cargo carriers. And of course towing is a, a, also a very good use for it. Now this uses a 5 8 diameter pinhole to secure our ball mounts, bike racks, whatever it's going to be. And any accessory you choose should also be a Class 3 accessory so it has the proper weight ratings and everything. Now here you can see our safety chain connection point. It's going to be a plate style with a very nice large opening. Um, no matter what size of hook you're using, it should be able to get connected on there without any kind of issue. Now if you are going to be towing with or without weight distribution, we've got a 400 pound tongue weight rating. So that's the maximum downward force we can put at the receiver tube opening. And we're going to have a 4,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. So that's going to be the total of our trailer and everything we've got loaded up on it. Of course, we do want to check the manual on the Sedona, see what its towing rating is, and we'll go off of whichever of those numbers are the lowest. Now, the installation's pretty straightforward. We've got an appearance panel we'll remove on the driver's side, lower the exhaust, use six provided bolts to go into existing weld nuts right into the frame of the vehicle, and then put the exhaust back up. Really simple, really straightforward installation. Now, a few measurements that you're going to find helpful in selecting your ball mount, bike rack, or hitch cargo carrier would be from the ground to the inside top edge of a receiver tube opening, we've got about 11 and a quarter inches. Then from the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of our bumper, it's about five. Now to get the car ready for our hitch, we want to expose our weld nuts that are right underneath this panel. So we're going to take off the one, two, three, four, five, and then there's one tucked up inside here for the six push pin fastener that hold it into place. Just kind of use a screwdriver, pop the middle of them, out and then they should should just be able to pull them out there. We'll just come right out and we'll return that to the customer or set it up in your garage. If you ever take your hitch off, you can put it back on. Now I'm going to take a cam buckle strap. I'm going to run it along the underside under the exhaust here. Just kind of cinch it up. What this is going to do is provide some support for our exhaust when we remove the exhaust hangers. Now we'll use a little bit of spray lube. We want to spray this hanger here. Then right up here in the middle, we've got a second one. Spray that one down well. And then just in front of this muffler here, we're going to have two more. One right here. And one over here. Now we just use a screwdriver or pry bar. We'll just pry those off. Sometimes they'll come off by hand. Yeah, see that one just popped off there. Sometimes they're not so cooperative. All right, and then once that comes down, we'll just slack off our strap a little bit, give us a little room to move that side to side. And we'll be ready to raise our hitch up into position. Now on each side we'll have three attachment points. We've got one here, one here, and one here. They're going to be in the exact same spot on both sides. What we're going to do is just hit them with a little spray lubricant and then our nylon tube brush. This is part number 814092. Just want to get any dirt or rust, corrosion out of those weld nuts so our bolts will thread in easily. We'll do the same thing over on our passenger side and then we'll get our hitch installed. Now as we raise our hitch into position, it's a good idea to get an extra set of hands. We'll want to go over the passenger side exhaust first, then bring our driver's side up, and we're going to use the hardware provided. We've got a hex head bolt there, conical tooth washer. Now we want to be sure that the teeth of that washer face up towards our hitch. Line up our weld nuts with the elongated holes in our hitch, and then just get our bolt threaded right in. Joe's already got his started on the other side, and with mine started here, we'll allow that to support our hitch while we get the rest of the hardware started. 
Now let's just take a look, make sure we've got our hitch centered properly on the vehicle. Then we'll snug those fasteners down and torque them to the proper specifications that we can find in the instructions. Now we'll start raising our exhaust back into position and sliding our exhaust hangers back on. If they don't cooperate, you can use a little spray lubricant on them again. All right, now we can pull down our safety strap and our hitch will be ready to use. And that's going to complete today's installation of the Curt Custom Fit Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number C13115 on our 2016 Kia Sedona.